Well, this news, your local election headquarters, after months of campaigning, knocking on thousands of doors, Democratic presidential hopefuls will soon find out where they stand with New Hampshire voters. Many of the candidates still working to shake off all that confusion that happened yeah. in Iowa last week. That was just last week. My yeah. goodness, a win today, though, could be the way that they do it. Brendan Truitt joining us now live in the newsroom. Brandon, all eyes on New Hampshire today. Hey guys, good morning, and the voters there really do know it. In fact, on that last night of campaigning, we saw celebrities, emotional moments, and even a presidential visit. In a very simple mission, remember, make America great again. In the final hours before the polls open in New Hampshire, President Donald Trump holding his own rally in Manchester, telling supporters he's not worried about the other side of the ticket. They don't know what the hell they're doing. On Monday, candidates covering every corner of the Granite State. You have a choice about going forward. Right now, it's Senator Bernie Sanders leading in several major polls. Sanders spending the day going after the candidate following close behind Pete Buttigieg. The former mayor, also the focus of former Vice President Joe Biden. If you want to compare records, it's easy to do. I get it. And he's a good guy. He's a great mayor. But guess what? He was a mayor. Other candidates say they are focusing on a bigger picture. We have one job in November beat Donald Trump. In the final hours, campaigns pulling out all the stops. Actor Kevin Costner stumping for Mayor Pete. Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez taking the stage for Sanders. And come from behind candidate Senator Amy Klobuchar in a vulnerable moment, opening up to supporters about how her father's alcoholism has shaped her life. You just can't see things in the extremes. I couldn't. I had to see in the middle. I had to see in the gray area because otherwise I couldn't love my dad because he was messing up a lot. Voting, believe it or not, has already begun in some of the smaller towns. Beginning at midnight, places like Dixville Knox here um, opened their polls. This town has five people. It's a tradition they've been doing since the 60s. But of the five potential voters, three of the votes went to Michael Bloomberg. By the way, he's not even on the New Hampshire primary ballot. Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.